Welcome back to Morbidly Bewitched. In the last video, I discussed formaldehyde and preservation. And if you watched that video, that means you're going to have a rough idea of what this one's all about. If you haven't watched the last video, then do. Because you'll know that I am going to embalm for you today. Yes, I'm going to Don the latex gloves and head down to the mortuary. By mortuary, I mean backyard. And by embalm, I mean a sausage. Hmm. So stay tuned. As hilarious as this might sound, I invite you to my next experiment. You do not need tickets. You do not even need to reserve a seat. Oh no. I bring this macabre experiment straight to you, free of charge. I am going to embalm a sausage for you, but I hear you ask, why a sausage? Well, let's talk about that a wee bit. So to give you the best idea of how formaldehyde works with the human preservation in the funeral industry, I needed to use some form of meat. And the sausage, apart from, I would say, maybe haggis, is the only form of meat that comes inside its own little fabricated skin to contain said fluid. So with that little mystery out of the way, let's get started. I will be using two sausages for this experiment so that I can show you by comparison the difference in preservation. This is going to be affectionately named Frank and Steve. Frank, like I said, is going to be embalmed. Steve is not going to be embalmed. I am, of course, going to need some supplies. I'm going to need two good-sized sausages for a start. I'm also going to need a mini mortuary setting. I'm going to need a sharp knife, in my case, a scalpel. I'm going to need gloves, a needle and thread to stitch up my work afterwards. Because Frank and Steve are sausages, they do not have a circulatory system. So I'm going to need a hypodermic needle um, to contain the arterial solution to inject it. A closed unit container, like an overturned lunchbox, and something heavy to set on top of that so that your local wildlife can't just come along, knock it over and eat the non-embalmed sausage, which would completely destroy the entire experiment. Gonna also need some funky music for this to get you in the mood. And without further ado, let's get started. Here comes the boogie doctor. I'm your boogie doctor, baby. Everybody stand in line. Cause it's love injection time. Rock. Shake your body down. 
initial results are already quite clear. Frank, who is embalmed, is looking lovely and pink and flushed with colour, while Steve's looking a little bit pasty. Join me in my next video where I will show you the results over the course of about two weeks between Frank and Steve and I think you are going to be very interested. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.